Slavery is the burning issue of the day. As America expands across the continent, North and South face off over each new territory. Will it be slave owning or free? The Northerners began to see that, wait a minute, they're not going to keep slavery just in the South. They want to take slavery west and to turn the country into a slave country. Americans from all over the country are flooding into the new territories on the frontier. Each becomes a battleground. Will it be slave owning or free? It comes to a head in Kansas. A peaceful protest turns violent. Emotions run high. Towns are terrorized. Stores robbed. Homesteads burned. North and South are polarized. Neither side will back down. One man will stop at nothing to abolish slavery. John Brown, a folk hero in the North, a terrorist to the South. He thinks he's fighting a holy war. He believes himself to be God's chosen instrument. He will murder for his cause. John Brown is one of those controversial figures about whom almost anything you can say is true. He's a terrorist in our modern terms. Uh, he's, a, uh, he's a revolutionary. The divide between North and South is an open wound. Kansas bleeds for two years. More than 200 dead. America is on the road to war. Slavery is tearing the nation apart. America is built on a number of distinct fault lines. One, of course, was um, slavery and freedom. That was a fault line that had to be addressed. In the South, slavery is a way of life, even for non-slave owners. Anti-slavery forces in the North threaten their right to decide their fate. There is still, in some areas of America, a great pride in being Southern and holding true to the original Southern attitude. I think our clinging to the idea that slavery is a right and just way of life, you know, it is a dark spot in our history. Anger in the South grows more passionate every day. The North claims the moral high ground. But they are getting rich off cotton, too. Pretty much everybody agreed that a crisis was developing. Not everyone knew that the crisis would include, in the end, a civil war, but everyone understood that a showdown between the slave South and the free North was about to occur.